Hi guys, it's Dale with the insurance. Uh, today we're gonna to talk about an article that um, that's obviously quite important. Um, and, and hopefully there there's some nuggets in here that, that, that will be helpful um, for you. The, the title of the article is, what type of insurance do I need for a co-op or a condo, right? So purchasing a condo um, is a very exciting time, right? So like just to own um, your own little piece of the world um, could be very liberating, right? Uh, and oftentimes in this midst of all the excitement, something that's often overlooked is insurance, right? Now your mortgage company isn't gonna overlook it, right? So they will make sure that you have insurance because they want to protect their investment, right? Uh, it, it's not about you, it's about the investment. It's about the four walls they compose of your condo, right? But your interests lie, I mean, it include your interest is also within the physical um, aspect of your condo, but it's also within um, the items within that condo, right? Also known as kind of business personal property, right? Uh, the things in your condo that make it a home, um, right? And that's why you want to pay kind of close attention to condo insurance, right? You want to make sure that you have adequate coverage and tailored coverage to your specific needs, right? The other type of insurance that, that, that's not, that not many people know about but as you think about it, it makes sense, is it's called a master policy. Um, and that will oftentimes, that should be taken care of by the, the condo association. Um, unless you buy a, a, the entire building, you buy a co-op, then you will have to take care of it. But as you could imagine, your condo is part of a larger structure, a larger building, right? So your condo insurance isn't gonna cover your little section of the roof, right? Assuming you're on the top floor. Um, but that's what a master, or the basement for, for that matter, but, but that's what a master policy is for. Um, it covers those common areas, those shared areas, um, whether it be a hallway, an elevator, um, a pool area, basketball area, the basement, the roof. Um, it covers things like that. Now, now, once again, that's something that the condo association should, should, should have to take care of. However, if you are buying, if you're lucky enough to be buying the entire structure, the entire building, then that's something that, 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 you, will, will need to, um, that you will need to take care of. Um, now, as you're navigating kind of condo insurance, make condo insurance, make sure that you are looking at the, um, the outside coverages that could be unique to your risk, right? So you may want to add, if you're in a flood prone area, right? You may want to add flood or earthquake uh, to that policy. Those are things that are typically um, excluded. You may want to increase your limits for jewelry, or maybe you have an art collection, right? Or maybe you have some expensive furs. Um, or just electronics in general. Th these are things that you want to, um, to to hone in on and make sure that you have adequate coverage because condo policies, condo insurance policies, they can be cookie cutter, right? So they may, they, they, they do come with built-in coverages that, that for, 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 the, for the better part of the population probably work. Um, but make sure you read it, understand it, and make sure that it, it applies to your situation because carriers do have the ability, and they may not state this up front, but they do have the ability to cater that policy through endorsement or adding just separate coverages to your policy. Um, they do have the ability to tailor it to your specific risks and needs. Um, so hopefully this was helpful. Thanks for stopping by, guys. We'll talk to you next week.